All right, we are finally ready to go fishing. Very late start this morning. I um, had some things I had to do. It's a bit after lunchtime, but I'm finally out here and ready to chuck a line in. Um, yeah, I'm staying the night. So first up, get ourselves some dinner if we can. Never fished here before. New spot as usual. I have a lot of places yet to be fished and the list continues to grow. Around the bottom. Yeah, must be. Gonna say. Fish first cast. That quite often happens for me. Fish first cast. Hopefully it's a good eater and no, it isn't. It's a um, grass. Well, I could eat it, but I'm not that desperate. Back it goes. See if we can get something better this time. Move spots. Um, the other spot didn't produce anything, so hopefully this one is a bit better. It looks a bit deeper. It's too. Oh. Too hot to fish. Screw it. I'm gonna go have a break. It's too hot. Sweating my ass off just standing here. Literally sweat is pouring down my face into my eyes. Alright. Had enough of fishing for now. It is stinking hot. It's like 35-ish and I'm just sweating my ass off out there. And catching nothing so I'm Chucking all the gear in the shade here. There's a little rock pool around the corner. I'm going to go have a quick dip if possible. Otherwise, I'm just going to chill out here. I'm going to go have a look first. How good does that look? I think I've got to go for a swim. Pretty nice. Oh look, there's a baby um, sooty oyster catcher that just ran off. They've obviously been nesting down here. All right, I'm ready to leave my little cave here. I've been just chilling out here for an hour or so. It's starting to cool off a little bit, so we'll go have another shot and see if we can get a fish. And then, um, and then I'll set up the tent and cook up dinner. Hopefully, if I catch something. All right. <clears throat> Come on, fish.
fish. Fish, fish, fish. Just like that. Finally. Very first cast. I sort of caught me off guard. It's a decent fish. Hopefully it's a jury. It's decent jury. Quite a good size one. Oh. Oh. I want to wash him up a bit. Pretty good size, all right. And my leader is trashed. Right. Let's get the cliffy on the job. Why are you not going down? All right, bugger, I'm going down to get him. Go down there, Cliffy! Cliffy! Alright. As a big jewelry fish. He's, um, he's surprisingly big. That is, all right, well now. Oh, man, I hate it when these cliff gaps just don't work. They need steeper terrain. It'd be an 80 centimetre. All right, there we go. I'm happy with that. It was um, a long time coming. I haven't caught a dewfish fish for a while. But there's a solid dewy. So it's sunlight on it. I'm gonna eat well tonight. That's for sure. I'm stoked on that. I'm gonna retime a leader and um, get a line back out there, see if I can get something else. And I'll get this guy bleeding and in the shade somewhere for dinner tonight. Stoked on the um, on the Abrolis Bull Whip Minnow. Man, solid hookup. Absolutely shredded my leader. I haven't got a measure. I would say he's, he's mid 80s. Give me a sec, I'll go get a measure. He is, oh, not mid 80s, he's just 80. 80 centimeter joy. Happy with that. We'll get him bleeding, we'll get him out of the sun. Alright, 
that'll do. I'm going to pull the pin and go put this fish in a rock pool, fillet it, clean it, set up camp and all that stuff. Anyway, how cool is this? Found a nice little rock pool. Um, fair way back from the ocean. There's a bigger rock pool out there, but I won't go out there to fill it. I might get wet. And um, yeah, half the fun of um, getting out and exploring really is finding these little places. Flies have come to join me for the filleting. Knife is not sharp. I really need to sharpen this knife. Up. Oh, slippery. Wings. See, feels like there's a fair bit of meat in the cheek. So let's give it a shot. I've never tried this. Get off of the flies. Oh, mozzies all over my back. They're not making this enjoyable. Should have done this somewhere windier. Keep the mozzies away. Let's see. Oh yeah, I might have done a better job this time. There we go, another little morsel. There we go, and it all goes in here with my snacks that have been sitting in there, but frozen water bottle. Fill it one, fill it two, pair of wings, some lollies. Man, those mozzies are thrashing me. Flip. I prefer flies right now, any day. They're horrible. Getting out of here, I'm going to go set up the tent and um, get away from these mozzies and cook up some dinner and just chill out pretty much. Tomorrow the swell's a bit lower, so we'll be into it early tomorrow morning. There's some big sets broken up behind. Um, bringing in some fresh water from some fresh salty water. need a bit of a breeze there's like no wind today which is kind of nice but brings lots of flies and mozzies with it Got a few little luxuries, you know. Pillow. And a mattress. Almost get away without a mattress on this stuff.
Got my crap spread out everywhere at the moment. Done. Bed is sorted. <coughs> All right, time for some dinner. Panko with salt and pepper. Oil. Double sealed so I don't have it everywhere. There's not much oil. Should have topped it up. Oh, well, there's a bit of a throw everything together and go trip this was. Yeah, I'm gonna find those cheeks. Yes, there they are. And then I'll just slice a little bit extra off. So there's two Jewfish cheeks. I haven't tried Jewfish cheeks before. But I'm sure they will be good. That looks all right. It's probably all I need. Take the rest home for the family to enjoy. A little shake and what do I need now yep don't do that need a lighter there we go Ah, oh, that's down to smoke already. What do we got? That's a cheek. Another cheek. I oh, better sharpen my knife after this trip. It's getting a bit, a bit disgraceful. How good does that look? It breaks apart. Probably cooked on a slightly too high temp, but it's all right. There's um, all these little bull ants near the nest. I mean, all these little, all these little bull ants near where I'm camping. They're not so little. I'll show you. And they've got a nasty sting on them. Here we go. There's one. There's 
Ne Ne bu ne My um, wife calls them inch ants because, well, I guess they're an inch long. I don't know where she got the name from, but that gives you an idea as to how big they are. And they got a nasty sting on them, so hopefully I don't get stung. Australia, mate. Everything's after you in Australia. <laughs> what the current mosquito situation looks like. It is a cloud. A cloud of mosquitoes. Oh yeah. Can't wait to get up in the morning. Go feed the mosquitoes. Alright, good morning. How's that sunrise? You probably can't even see me, but anyway, I'm up. I'm getting out of this mozzie infested camp because they are shocking here. There's like clouds of mosquitoes. And I'm going fishing, so let's get the heck out of here before I get eaten alive by mosquitoes. Going back to where I was fishing this morning. I mean, this morning. Going back to where I was fishing yesterday, Arvo. Um, yeah. And we will take it from there. We'll see, see how the day goes. Back here, ready to go fishing. The mosquitoes are absolutely horrible here as well, unfortunately. But that's because there's just no wind today. No, no wind this morning. So, which is nice for fishing, but I think it means I'm getting eaten alive here. Anyway, let's get into it. Oh, they're horrible. Alright. First cast of the morning. Um, I might bail for a while. No fish and so many mozzies it's unbearable. So I might retreat back to the tent for another hour or two. It's only four o'clock in the morning and wait for a bit of a breeze to come in because that should help to get rid of these mozzies. This is horrible. Can't handle it though. Look, this is how bad it is that I had a mozzie get stuck in my line while I was winding it back in. Anyway, leaving all this here, we'll be back. Okay, so I'm awake again. Good bit of a sleep in there. Not much of a breeze still, but the mozzies are pissed off it seems. Just a few flies. But I can handle the flies. Um, I was going to fish the same spot again, but then I thought, screw it, I'm not going to get another opportunity. There's a ledge out here I've been eyeballing. And um, it was too rough yesterday, but it looks good now. So we're going to go give it a shot. So I'll throw a pop her around at first I reckon I'd really like to get um, I'm trying to walk at the same time I'd really like to get a Sambo or a Kingy on top and get drone footage of it that would be the ultimate and it's not going to happen unless I keep on trying so we'll give it a shot and if it doesn't happen we'll keep trying eventually it will happen Anyway, we're making our way there now and I'll be fishing shortly. Alright, drain's back in, time for a swap over. Going back to the... See that hooks a little bit down bent. And the barb is snapped off. Interesting. What the hell have I done to it? 
Well, we're fishing barbless. It's a little bit risky when I want to keep what I catch most probably. Um, yeah, going back to the Abrolis bull whip minnow. And we'll see if we can pluck something tasty out of this little spot. How's that? Big fat harlequin. I um, I thought I had a groper on. I don't know, I think my other camera wasn't recording. Anyway, typical. Look at that. There's a bit of meat on this guy's cheeks too. Anyway, that is a good sized fish. Good fat harley. On the McPaddle does the job. Yeah, he was in shallow. I thought I had a groper because I just done a little side cast. Anyway, nice. Put this guy away out of the sun and fillet him in a while. Delicious. What have we caught this time? Oh, look at that. It's just delicious. Look at the salad. Mm -mm. Yum. All right, that's it for another episode. I just got a snag, lost my rig. I'm not gonna bother to retire. Um, so I just got Dewey and a Harley, but still two very good fish on the south coast here. So I'm pretty happy with that. Good feed. Um, yeah, gonna go pack the tent up and walk home. So thanks heaps for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I might not get another video out until after New Year's, but I might, we'll see. Uh, but I've got big plans over Chrissy, so hopefully the weather allows it and I can get out and got some big missions um, I've been wanting to do. So we'll, we'll see if we can actually make them happen. So. Cool, thanks heaps for watching guys. Right, I've just come back to claim my Harlequin. Check this out. Crabs all over it. Get off my fish. Go on, leave it alone. Sneaky little buggers.